141. Greg told me to to talk a little bit louder because all of this uh, noise of the traffic, all of that. So I'm trying. And uh, sorry for uh, skipping one day because we just couldn't go and couldn't make this uh, program that night. But if probably you did like the last one program. And if you did, please uh, let us know by pushing the like button. It will be, uh, I mean, it, it will be like uh, great to see. Thank you. And so we'll start from um, uh, from the living uh, from Kharkiv and you will start from Raigaradok area and uh, the Verkhnya Balka, the place we've been before during uh, the battles in that area that time and now it, there is no battles there but there's people are in need and you will see uh, this help we, was delivered and and we gave it and then we will be moving to the Bakhmut area that direction helping to our military guys which is in priority and you will see the new friends we made there on the way and great people the heroes and you will see uh, how all the all the stuff we getting from you or other places are being delivered we're helping uh, military guys uh, the soldiers uh, the reconnaissance team and uh, the field medics the hospital the military hospitals and with everything like uh, the energy bars the food the uh, bandages tourniquets uh, and the, the the pressure bandages and the other other possible things so thank you and thank you for subscribing thank you for the like buttons thank you for sharing the truth and uh, yes thank you and I what two the, questions for you yes is your heart? Curious, yeah. uh, what, what is this this is a statue to in the memory of bogdan Khmelnytsky, and this is Khmelnytsky city okay. secondly uh we're prepping even now to go south Harrison. yes in i think less than an hour our guys team are are coming to making this food sets for the this yeah for the and will this shipment tomorrow morning uh, i think it will go to Kherson, and then later you will you will see the story later don't miss that yeah. the, the program when when we will be sharing about that tomorrow we're going to show the new vehicle yes and give an update on all the news but just for news tonight what do you know about bakhmut right now Okay, uh, up to Bakhmut, the situation is uh, serious there, the serious fights goes, and uh, Russia changed a little bit the strategy there and the tactics, so they're using not the Wagner's team, which were like, uh, like uh, we're calling it, they were used like a mid, yeah. they were just sending them, no strategy, just sending them like th thousands and hundreds, and uh, now they're using the regular army there and looks like they these teams were prepared they're more logical from the military side the military strategy side not easy for our guys and our guys keeping uh, their position and bakhmut uh, the road uh, from chassis yard to bakhmut is under i mean it's dangerous let's say to go that way that way and um, we'll see. It's we'll tough. See. Let's tough. say I don't want to add no. anything bad Let's because leave it there. situation it's tough is there. On day yeah, 341 in Bakhmut. Yeah, and right. situation would be better if our friends and partners would supply the tanks and the other vehicles. Shells and the shells and the yeah. shells artillery we're, shells. We're being outshelled ten to one, but still holding. Okay. Yes. So, so but okay. It's okay. Hope for better. No staying, down. believing thing for the truth okay well i hope everybody enjoys part two 48 hours in the donbass yeah welcome guys this is really interesting you can't tell where we're at so we're good we're here meeting with some commanders yeah. and talking about helping and all these things and all of a sudden the phone rings yeah we need to do a uh, blur it all out <laughs> and uh he said, man, we got to go, leave this position. So we're moving out of that place, come to a new place, keep talking. Mm-hmm.
well. So I'm gonna jump in here right now and um, give you a little bit more update on that. You notice we missed one night of stream and um, we had no power, no communication, but um, that little clip you just saw there, we were actually in the city of Konstantinivka. Um, you see that on the map right here over my shoulder. And we were meeting with some very dear friends of ours who are commanders of um, groups that are fighting on the very, very, very front lines of Bakhmut. And I mean the very, very, very front, how we could help them, what they needed, what we needed to bring back, all of those discussions we were having at a um, location in Konstantinivka. And then the gentleman we were talking to, his phone rang and he says, okay, Greg, Jane, we've got to leave right now. We've got to move a couple of kilometers away. We jumped in the van and I mean, it was no playing. Like there was other leaders there and different things going on. And those phones rang and we rolled out instantly. And unfortunately that place was struck. Um, and if you saw on the news over the past 48 hours in Konstantinivka, three were killed and 12 were wounded. And um, it was right on the spot where we were. But I don't tell you that to get your uh, pity or get you give more money or buy something else on Amazon. I tell you that to tell you we trust our guys. We're not out doing stuff crazily. It, yeah, we're in very dangerous locations sometimes, but we trust our people. We, <laughs> we've, I've known these people. They're not just some commander somewhere. They've been my friends for decades. We trust these people and they're high ranking guys. And when he said, let's go, let's go, we moved. And it's sad to say three did lose their lives and 12 were wounded right there. Um, the strike fell short of the location Russia wanted to hit and unfortunately struck an adjacent property where civilians were. And um, that's what happened. Now, you know, a couple of days later, I can actually tell you. So let's jump back in to what's happening on the 48 hours in the Donbass. guys we've been given really a blessing right now because we are actually in the east we're in a field hospital here and these guys are taking care of everybody it's all of these front lines we're delivering all this all that here but i'm here with yeah. sasha he's got a great team here this is our second trip to this field hospital and um they are requesting we are uh, requesting this uh, hemostatic dressing uh, for uh, treatment uh, our uh, soldiers uh, on the battlefield. So, for, oh, this. yeah, go ahead. So this is the number one request. This is not coming from some other organization or whatever. We're right here. In fact, you don't know where I'm at. So outside this door right behind me are soldiers being treated right now by this awesome team. So this is the number one request. So let's see if we can get some balls. Yes, all, we, all like this. Quick mm -hmm. clot, combat gauze. Quick clot, combat gauze. Mm -hmm. Quick clot, combat gauze. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, Sasha, we're going to do our very best to get more here. Thank you very much. And uh, not only that, we'll, That's all we need now. we'll bring them right to you. You hear thank that? You. That's what we need. So folks, thank you. We'll have links in the description, everything. We need a special push to get these here. 
It's tough out here. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Slava Ukraina. Well, it's my personal bag. <laughs> <laughs> I, if I don't get home alive, my wife will kill me. <laughs> Second time. You know what? Take these two. I know you don't know what these are, but when you send the soldiers back out, put it in their hand. Oh, so cool. <laughs> okay. And we'll get more. Oh. <laughs> hey, brother, brother Bill, just this is exactly what you got. So I'm passing it to the people. I mean, the military there medics <laughs> and painkillers. Okay. Спасибо. Made it, Greg. <laughs> okay. Just a fantastic experience right there. Being able to. It'll mess you up, man. There was a lot of sick and wounded in that hospital, and that will mess you up. But it's a joy beyond description to be able to help people and then the soldiers that are sick and wounded say thank you but that'll mess you up let's go deeper mm. 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 Everything good? Yeah, everything is perfect. Everything's good. We are on a mission. We are on a mission. Getting the night drops. Good dark video here. Yes. <laughs> I can show I can show you the moon. <laughs> How about the moon? There we go. Getting it done, boys. Getting it done. Thank you to everybody. That's hand to hand. Hand to hand. You guys have made this happen from all over the world. Thank you. Валера, як обіцяв, ваші окопні свічки. Подякую, хто ти у вас робив. Да. Пацани серйозно роботу роблять. Доставлена подяка, не знаю, хто це, Infinity, не Infinity. Валера, дякую всій команді. Пока-пока. Давай від тебе. Кліч. Давай. Ага. Ну давай, чекай, тримайся. Just finishing dropping the A to our guys over here. Бахмут. No way. We need the Navara. And right now the Navara is trying to cross the border into Ukraine. Uh, these roads were not meant for this man. So I don't know what he's doing, but we've just taken care of our guys. And he's preparing for us to go. Yeah, because yeah. Because because this is not Navara. No, this is not Navara. All right, we're out of here. Phenomenal day in Donbass, helping a lot of people. Thank you guys for everything. You wonder where we're at? This is our guide. That's our guide. Guys, okay.
They wanted to say hi all over. Turn left. Hey. Turn left. Turn left. Somewhere in the non bass region. <laughs> and I've made some new friends here, and they want to say hi and thank you. Turn left. Ben. Turn left. Turn left. Slava Ukraina. Slava. Hey, man, these are the best people in the world. Sami Luci Ludi Vesmir. Turn left. Ben. Turn left. Мы вас любим, мы стоим в месте до перемоги. И только перемоги. Дуже дякую. Да-да-да. Да. Окей. Супер. There you go, everyone. I hope you have enjoyed 48 hours in the Donbass. Everything from helping civilians to helping medical to helping soldiers, hospitals. During the middle of this video, you saw the doctors Sasha, his own appeal, requesting um, assistance and help for medical supplies, specifically those hemostatic bandages. Now, I know that there's not time to put a big thing out there on Amazon, which we have. They're on the Amazon shopping list, but um, and to get them over here in time. But here's what I'm going to ask you tonight. If you're watching this video and you want to help with those bandages. I'm gonna ask you to look into the description and down there you will see our link to giving. For those of you around the world and throughout the United States, I remind you that we are based out of our church, Bethel Life. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. Proof's in the pudding. Um, we have the best administration team and financial team with Pastor Kent and Ms. Luann. Every penny you give gets here. Zero admin fees. We actually add to it. So um, here's what I'm asking tonight. If you would, and this touched your heart, um, that hospital is just one. Um, those bandages are necessary. The East is extremely difficult right now. So um, I know PK will be watching this and I don't even know what date it is. January 30th, I think. I don't know. Um, but on that giving link, they'll see it. They will know. Every dollar that would come in, um, we'll get it straight here. And we will find a place to buy bandages that are specifically needed, even if we have to go out of country and get them in Poland. We will find them. Um, they are very difficult to find right now. So this is a push. Want to just raise some extra finances specifically for these requested bandages. Appreciate that. And I think you can trust us and trust what we're doing. And thank you. What else can we say? 48 hours of Donbass. Tomorrow, full update on all the current events going on in the country and truly around the world. Folks, we're this close to World War III. You're seeing it on your news. We're seeing it here from the Ukrainian side. Iran, Pakistan, China, of course, Russia, Ukraine, EU, Israel, all of this happening all at one time. So together, we'll go through it day by day. We thank you for being here. Thank you for your continued prayer, support, partnership, and um, all together, we make a great team. So tonight we say, uh, Slava Ukraina, Giroam Slava. Good night to you all.